How to practice while experiencing sensual pleasure. Greetings to all who are interested in practicing mindfulness. Today I would like to give a homework assignment to all of you who are interested in practicing mindfulness for the purpose of creating a knower and observer mind. This mind is able to objectively observe the body and mind to create purity and be free from clinging and attaching to our feelings and possessions, which we don't even know we are holding on to. Now I am going to clarify Dhamma, focusing on how we can practice mindfulness and wisdom even while we're indulging in objective sensuality. We are all human beings who live an ordinary life and we still enjoy many objective sensual pleasures, which are the obsessions that lure and trap us into indulging in pleasure and consuming it through the eyes, ears, nose, tongue and body. When we recognize an objective sensual object, the mind rushes to seize it and creates the defilement of sensuality. Defilements are the craving, the pleasure and the satisfaction of the desire. Therefore, when there are sensual objects, form, sound, smell, taste or touch, that appear through the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body or mind, the mind rushes to seize them with lust and craving followed by clinging or attachment. This clinging to our feelings, possessions and self leads us to rebirth and suffering. Those who are still lost in the pursuit of pleasurable forms, such as movies, TV series, worldly pursuits and pleasures and the joys of sounds, smells, tastes and touch, aren't able to cultivate the mind to be stable and common to objectively observe. But when the object of sensual pleasure disappears, the mind is still full of accumulated lust, pleasure, and contentment. The mind is still searching for those feelings even though the object has disappeared. It keeps thinking about the sensual object and its associated pleasures, and this creates an obstacle for the mind to cultivate mindfulness to be in the present moment and objectively observe at the base. We can learn to practice mindfulness and wisdom to be free from attachment to objective sensual objects and sensual pleasure. Initially, we have to train to be mindful while we are consuming objective sensuality such as watching TV series or movies, listening to music, savoring foods or any other external pleasures. We don't have to control the mind but rather objectively observe and ensure that we are correctly practicing the five precepts to maintain morality. If we are still experiencing pleasure and lost in sensuality, at least we need to maintain the five precepts. Some forms of indulging in sensuality doesn't make us violate the precepts but we still need to be careful with sensual pleasures, form, sound, taste, and touch, that arise from the mind that is full of greed, hatred and delusion. Therefore, in this kind of situation, how can we practice meditation? When you are consuming sensuality, just know when it's happening and bring the mind back to the base, a meditative object or one of the four foundations of mindfulness. However, if you don't have mindfulness, your mind will wander off and cling to the feeling of form, the sound, the taste, or the touch. For example, some people enjoy singing, watching movies, going to concerts, dancing and so on because they like the feeling of happiness and because the mind clings and attaches to the objective sensuality, and this creates a cause of suffering which is craving for sensuality. Even though in that moment you can't let it go, recall mindfulness by observing how your mind reacts to the pleasure and craving and if it shifts from the base. Just know what has happened and then bring it back to the base. When we are watching a movie, we normally get lost and attached to it by imagining ourselves in the movie, then we create like or dislike. We then need to examine our mind to see if we are being mindful and in the present moment at the base or if we are lost and clinging to objective sensuality. Then just recognize it and bring the mind back to the base, and keep continually cultivating effort, forbearance and truthfulness. When the eyes see an object and cause the mind to think, just know and objectively observe the thoughts. 
For example, if annoyance arises, just know it and then observe the irritated mind, and objectively observe at the base. This will cause wisdom to see the three marks of existence, impermanence, suffering, no self. But if the contact impacts the mind to like or dislike, we need to objectively observe from the base and cultivate wisdom by observing the three marks of existence of the liking or disliking mind. When contact causes the mind to be dissatisfied and crave to complain and criticize, just know what it's doing and objectively observe the craving mind. So when you obtain and are consuming a sensual object, first check if mindfulness is at the base and maintain the morality of mental, verbal and bodily actions. When we are eating, be mindful and know that we are eating. Normally when our tongue tastes the food, the mind is lost in it and we feel pleasure. If it is delicious, liking arises and craving will follow. For practice, when we are eating food and know that the food has a great taste, just know that we like it, and know that we want more of it. Objectively observe the desire when eating and also when we are watching movies or the news. When we consume, watch, them, keep observing our mind that is sometimes unhappy and sometimes happy. Sometimes we like the objective sensuality and sometimes we dislike it. Then defilements appear, by causing craving and clinging to arise. Therefore, we need to be mindful at the base and watch how the mind is reacting to the pleasurable object in order to keep our mind from dwelling on sensual pleasures and investing them with self or ego. The mind needs to be mindful and objectively observing at the base, the knower mind when consuming external objects in order to prevent us from being caught up in desire or craving and clinging. There should be no self when consuming sensual objects, and as a result, the joy of the consumption will be reduced and eventually eliminated. This is because we won't become lost in the feelings, so when we like we just objectively observe and we do the same thing if we dislike. Satisfaction or dissatisfaction show us that what we need to do is just watch our mind. We then observe how the thoughts react to the sensuality and see the three marks of existence. When we see an object of sensual pleasure, desire arises, and when we are consuming the object, like or dislike arise in the mind. Then we should just objectively observe and wisdom will see the three marks of existence. As a result of this practice, we will notice that the mind no longer craves objective sensuality, sensual pleasures decrease and the world seems to be flat with no more excitement. We will be happy to see the reaction of the mind and the pleasure of consumption will be reduced and we won't feel happiness the way we did previously. Initially, it might be hard to change but let's keep on practicing. Frequently practicing this will help the mind understand that there is actually no pleasure in the activity until the mind feels that it does not want to consume it anymore. Observing with mindfulness, right concentration, and wisdom, while we are engaged in sensual consumption with no self will lead us to end our craving and free us from being controlled by objective sensualities and sensual pleasure. If the mind is free from sensual pleasure it will become calm and will be supported to practice meditation and mindfulness and to develop wisdom. Then the outside world cannot tempt and sway us and we will continue on our journey to the end of suffering. We previously relied on external objects to make us happy, but now we are free from them and have inner peace. Therefore, Keep continually practicing to cultivate mindfulness while consuming sensuality, and keep objectively observing at the base when the mind wanders off to external objects, causing the mind to think and be happy, unhappy, wholesome or unwholesome. The mind will be wiser and be able to see that sensual pleasure is less exciting or even bland. We will feel this world is flat with no excitement like we used to experience, and the mind will become equanimous. Keep practicing, be aware of the whole body and observe how the mind reacts to the consumption of sensuality. Know it and observe the three marks of existence. But if the mind is lost and sinks into it, 
Just know that this has happened and come back to the base. Then when you are back at the base the mind might feel energized, again we just know it. Keep practicing this until you are free from sense desire or become equanimous. Then the mind will be purified, wholesome and free from attachment. Animodana to all of the people who have had a chance to listen to this Dhamma talk. I hope that today's Dhamma will help you to let go of objective sensuality and defilements such as sense desire and clinging. Make the best use of the time we have left in this life to develop the right cause to end suffering and be permanently peaceful and happy. Anyamodana Sadhu to everyone. Trisakka Meditation Center. Plant City, Florida, USA. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu.